Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at option buttons in Excel. Say you want to create a survey or a questionnaire and you want to give your user uh, options to select from. Here is a way that you can do that in Excel using option buttons. So let's take a look and see how we can create option buttons in Excel. So here I have an example of three different questionnaires, uh, poor, average, good, very good, and excellent ratings here. I have grades, A, B, C, D, and F. And I also have a choice of top, middle, or bottom here. And notice as I select different ones, the numbers that I have up here change. You can hook these, your option buttons, to a cell that you can use to uh, identify a value. And then you can use it to accumulate statistics about the answers on your uh, survey or questionnaire. So we'll show you how to do that. Notice I also have a couple different types here. Uh, the ratings and the grade one are set up so that we use the text that's built in with the option buttons. Whereas the choice group here, uh, I've created the text in a separate column. And the reason I did that is because with the option buttons, you have no way of formatting the text. So if you want to customize the format of the text you have, you need to uh, type it in separately in a separate column or cell rather than use the text built in with the option buttons. So we're going to go ahead and recreate these. But the first thing I'm going to do is delete these. So what I'm going to do is hit my F5 key, go to Special, Select Objects, and say OK. Now it's selected all the objects within my worksheet. I'm going to hit Delete. And now all that's left are the items that I've manually typed in. I'm going to go ahead and delete these uh, connected cells too. And uh, so this is just the information that I manually typed in in preparation for creating my survey using the option button. As you may have seen in several other videos, you need to have the Developer tab enabled. Uh, if you don't have a developer tab on your ribbon, uh, just right click in your ribbon, go to customize your ribbon, and then on the right side, just make sure the checkbox next to, next to developer is checked, and that will put the uh, developer tab on your ribbon. And we're going to go into the controls group and drop down in the insert area. Now, one thing, if you're going to have multiple sets of buttons on your worksheet, you need to use a group box to group them together. If you don't, they'll all interact uh, together. And I'll show you what that means. Let's say I want to go ahead and select uh, the option button. And I'm just going to highlight that and put that right here. And I'm going to size that a little bit better up into that. And for right now, I'm just going to right click and copy that. Now I'll go down here and I'll paste it. And then I'll do the same and paste that. So let's say I'm done with this. Now you can see they're all connected in that as I select one, the one that was previously selected is deselected. Now let's say I'm ready to do my next questionnaire. Uh, I'll go up and select the option button again. Um, and I'm going to draw it down in here as I wanted it. Again, I'm going to resize it to fit within that cell. I'll right click. I'll copy that, go down paste that, go down here, paste that again. So now I have my next set of questions. Now notice when I select these, it deselects the ones up here. It appears that these are all just one long series of option buttons. And you need to keep these separate. And in order to do that, you need to use the group box. So what I'm going to do is delete everything I've done here. I'm going to hit F5. Special again, select my object, say OK, and now hit the Delete button. So now the first step is to click on the drop-down arrow on the Insert command and select the Group box. And then I'm going to highlight an area oversized large enough to encompass all the area that I want to put my first group of option buttons in. Now you can see up at the top here, actually if I slightly move this out of the way, you can see where it has the text. So I'm going to click right next to that and hit the delete to remove that text and uncheck that or unselect it. Then I have to reselect it and move it back to where I want it to be. You didn't necessarily need to move that out of the way just because I had that rating typed behind it. It was hard to read so I moved it out to, in order to delete it. But normally you wouldn't have to do that. So now I've 
identify the area where I'm going to put one group of buttons in. So I'm going to hit my drop down arrow here again and select my option button. And I'll again put that into an area here and I'll make sure that I size it so it stays within my cell. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the existing text and I'm going to type in poor and I'll click off of that and now I have my first option selected and positioned within my group box. And I'm going to right click on that and hit copy and now just go down and paste the rest of the buttons in that I'm going to have for my five question survey here. Now within each one of these I can right click and hit edit text and I can then edit my text and make it to be what I want it to be. So I have poor, average, good. I'll right click on the next one, edit text. I can type in very good and then lastly I'm going to change this one after I delete the existing text to excellent. Now there's two more steps to complete this. First, I want to position these better within each cell. So if I right click, notice it puts the sizing box around it. I'm going to hold down my Alt key, grab a corner, and as I bring it closer to the edges here, it snaps within the size of the cell that I have. And that's the benefit of using the Alt key. So again, I selected it, held down my Alt key, and now I can resize it to fit well within that cell. So I'll just do that to the last three here, holding down my Alt key, positioning that. Same with this one, Alt key, position it. And finally, with the excellent selection, I'll do the same here. Now, the last thing I want to do is the same with the group box. I hover my cursor over it so it turns to that double headed arrow. And again, hold down my Alt key and position it so it goes right into that area of cells, deselect it, and now I've created my five question option here under rating in my group box. Now if I want to tie this to a cell to accumulate the statistics, all I need to do is right click on any one of these, go down to format control, and there is a cell link. I'll click on the range finder there, click the cell I want it to be, reselect that and say OK, and now you can see as I select the first option I get a 1, second 2, the last one I get a 5, and now I can use that number to identify statistics for my uh, choices. So now when I want to do the same for this group, again the first step will be to create my group box, highlight the area, delete the text here, and then go ahead and insert the options here. Again, highlight it in there. Make sure that it fits within my cell. Clear the text out. Here I had A, B, C, D, and F, so I'm going to type in A. And now I can right click, copy, and go down and paste the rest of them And then all I need to do is go in and edit the text, make this one a B, right click, edit text, C, right click, edit text, D, and then lastly, change this one to an F. And then the next, again, we can go through and position these. I'm just going to leave them as they are. They look pretty well lined up. The only thing I'm going to do now is hold down the Alt key and put my group box around that so it looks a little bit better. And again, notice now when I select these because I put them in a separate group box, it has no impact on the ratings one I had here. Right clicking on this, go down to Format Control, Cell Link, select this cell here, and say OK. And now this one is tracking the numbers independently from the one above. So for the last group, again, I've already 
put in my borders around this to kind of align those uh, and to kind of square it up to make it look nice. All I have to do is select my group box, highlight the area where I'm going to put that, click down here to delete my text, and then go in and select my option buttons, position them where I want them, again raise that up just a hair, and delete the text there. Now here I can uh, select that and I'm going to hold down my Alt key and just position it top and bottom here so it locks right within that cell. Now while I have that selected I'm going to copy that, go down here, paste, here again, paste, and then all I need to do is select my group box, hold down my Alt key, snap it in place so you don't see it separately, and now I've created another set of buttons that I can now link to a different cell here so I can track the statistics for that question also. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.